in terms of what? Um, he could not practice today. So, you know, I don't know what that means moving forward. He'll, he'll, uh, he'll go see some uh, people today, so we'll see w w where that goes forward. But he could not practice today. Um, uh, well, I think Fab's, you know, Fab's has, you know, played a decent amount of, or, you know, started the year last year playing center. I think Fab's uh, has played really good hockey uh, so far this year. So I think Fab's is in position to, to be successful in that spot if needed. Um, there's other guys that could potentially play center, but, you know, I, I think, um, uh, you know, it's a guy who has kind of earned some of those top line type minutes. And, and uh, so I put him in that spot. Well, I mean, there's two things at play here. Uh, I don't know the indi I don't know that. Um, uh, you know, he he also has a hearing with the with the NHL um, uh, regarding uh, the the punch as well. So I don't know if you guys uh, are aware of that or not. So, you know, that's that's taking place right now. Um, you know, I, I, I just while we're on the Larkin subject, like I think it's important to kind of walk you guys through a sequence of events of, of you know, what's going through his head or our heads as, as kind of that play happens. Like, you know, if you remember, um, Art says the, the, the uh, he can't hear me, tell him to turn the volume up. So as you remember, uh, you know, a year at the end of last year, Larks um, at the, uh, late in the game against Dallas got a cross check to the back of the neck with enough force uh, that he spent the night in the hospital and spent you know eight weeks in a in a cervical hard collar. Um, you know there was no penalty on the play, which that happens. Things happen fast, and there was no suspension. So if you're Dylan Larkin. Or if you're us, you kind of think, I, I, you know, it kind of sets a standard a little bit. This would just be the thought process. This kind of sets a standard a little bit that, you know, that's not worthy of it. And, and we got to make sure, I guess, we please ourselves a little bit, you know. And, and certainly I think that's partially what would go through his head. Um, so then you fast forward to last night's game and, and you know, I think they, they got a player that's trying to, um, you know, play up the lineup for the first time and, and kind of took a run at uh, Raymond on, on one side and then comes back over and, <laughs> you know, hits a, you know, I didn't, I hadn't looked at the, the clip a whole bunch until uh, this morning and he hits him right in the numbers and Larks has his head basically like this going into the glass. And, you know, at that point he gets up, there's no penalty called again. I think at that point he's thinking, uh, I, uh, you know, that the, the we have to police ourselves out here. And, and um, you know, I talked last night about not losing emotional control, but I certainly understand it. I don't, I don't think it's, you know, I, I think Larks would tell you that he'd like to take that back, that really what he was trying to do was get his attention to fight him. Um, but, you know, personally, you know, we'd like to be in a position where, where it's just a penalty on the original hit. And then I don't think, I don't know if anything happens, you know, so, um, you know, I feel I feel bad, pissed off for Larks that that he's uh, he's got to you know take that punishment, um, and then and then you know feels the need on a regular basis to kind of defend himself, and and that's just the perspective of of what we have. I mean, the only other you know perspective that I'd have is just in the game of hockey right now, just in general. I watch my kids' game or whatever. I mean, the most dangerous plays for me are plays around the boards, you know, and and. You know, I know there's a lot of talk about when guys turn and turn into that wasn't the case at all. He was clearly going for a puck. And I just think those, when you get up on the numbers um, and, and, and make any kind of pushing motion, whether it's a, a push or a, or a cross check, you know, there was one on Rass at the end of the game that was similar, and that one was a cross check. And, and obviously, that's the point of emphasis. So the cross check gets called, but the push is the same effect as the cross check in those plays. Um, so you know it's uh, it's something that uh, that's dangerous, and um, you know as I said last night, uh, um, you know I'll, I'll be disappointed uh, depending on how this comes out. But I, I will also say like 
you know, I, I know where Larks is coming from. Um, he's, he's got a feeling, I think, like he's got to please himself a little bit. And uh, so that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Um, you know, I, 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 I'd say two things. Uh, the, certainly, I think people test your, your young players. And I think, you know, I've been with Dylan since day one. So, so um, you know, they, they've definitely tested him from a young age. And, and so I wouldn't be surprised if that was the same with Raymond and with uh, Cider. Those kids are both pretty tough, strong kids. So they can, you know, I think... Um, do a pretty good job of, of, of protecting themselves out there, and then um, you know I guess I guess if it if it goes on, we just we, we have to get people in here to make sure that we're protecting them. So um, I don't know if I anticipated it or not. The other thing is we, we want to have a great power play, so teams are afraid to take penalties on us. So we'll keep working at that for sure. Um, you know, was it chippy? Yeah, it was it was emotional and chippy, and and uh, uh, I think it's important for our hockey team to. Uh, ride that edge of, of being highly competitive, um, of, of playing with good emotion without losing our emotional control. And I think at times last night we didn't, at times last night we didn't. And we got to make sure we keep our emotional control uh, in those situations and, and keep our head about us at what the real task at hand, and that's winning the hockey game. Possibility, even take away the hearing. Does it sound like you anticipate being without Dylan for at the very least the weekend? I, I honestly can't answer that, Helene. I really don't know that answer. Um, I know he, he could not practice today. Um, uh, I, I, if I knew that answer, I'd tell you I'm not keeping a secret from you. I just don't know that answer. Do you kind of feel for him that this, I mean, it was such a cool ceremony with all the former captains there last night and then. You know, he gets ejected in, you know, in a, has an incident with a vulnerable area that's only been a few months since it caused, you know, I mean, he's talked about how tough it was after that injury in April that he didn't really know what the diagnosis was. And, you know, the season has only just begun and it, he faces all this uncertainty. Yeah, no, no I feel for him big time. And, and uh, you know, I, I kind of waffle between um you know feeling for him and being pissed off that that he's got to go through that you know and and um you know it's it's uh, certainly in sports uh injuries are part of the game and you have to deal with them um you know i think you know ultimately this one was on a non-hockey related play uh the first one i mean when he got hurt last year at the end of the year and and um you know you, you know again he spent eight weeks and a <laughs> Hard collar, couldn't do anything, couldn't train. Um, you know, spent that night in the hospital. Uh, so, so I mean, it's a, it's a, it takes a toll on you emotionally. And you know, and, and I think last night he he was excited to get uh, the season going. I think we're all excited for for a new year. And I think he was playing real good hockey and and uh, in in the game. And it was an exciting game. It was a fun game to be a part of. Obviously, a great ceremony before the game. And um, you know, so. Um, uh, again, I, I, you know, taking that penalty uh, is not something that uh, he and he he would he just told me this. You know, we, he he doesn't want to take that penalty. We got to be more disciplined than that, a hundred percent. But I also kind of understand, like I said, as I walked you through it, I I, per, I understand where he's coming from, and and that you know, it's just the purpose of me talking that through is to make sure that everybody understands, I guess, where he's coming from. Is it? to, I guess, find the balance? I mean, is it something where the league really should be, I mean, there was nothing done with Jamie Bat in April, um, no penalty last night, uh, that especially, you know, when, when it involves such vulnerable areas of the law, I guess, from the neck up. I have no comment on the league. Like the, you know, they, they've got a hard job and, and um, that's, that's for them to comment on. Um, you know, I, I kind of watch it through what goes through our own mindset. And, and, and I would just tell you as a hockey observer, just as a hockey observer um, in general, again, whether I'm watching my 11-year-old play hockey or watching us play hockey, um, I, I personally think probably the most dangerous 
play in hockey is is the anything where you're pushing somebody head first into the boards um so when you get up high it's you know and again i get there's times where people turn i get all that um obviously last night clearly wasn't the case um and you can say well he put himself in a vulnerable position i don't know he's going to get the puck i guess you know um we got to be i think none of us want to be in positions where we're, we're getting where you know where it's okay to 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 have high hits on the back on the numbers, you know. I just think that's a, that, that's just my own personal opinion in terms of hockey. Um, so we'll see. You know, I did that again. That I don't have any control over uh, anything else uh, outside of the Detroit Red Wings. Um, but I do think it's important for for people to understand where where uh, you know the mindset that goes through our team and it goes through uh, Dylan Larkin. And lastly, so he has the hearing now, and then he's going to see specialists or whatever ailment it is correct thank you yep Jackson, Thompson. Flash a lot of high scoring games across the league so far yours last night included uh, what do you attribute the high scoring to it and how and what do you think that might come down <clears throat> well first off I, I think um any small sample size isn't necessarily uh you know indicative of a trend or or what the norm i guess would be um uh, i think you know there's, there's generally more high scoring games at the beginning of the year when maybe teams haven't yet totally established their structure or their penalty kill or their power play or those types of things like uh, you know just the, the reality of it so um i think it always finds a way to come back down and and, and get more like um you know in that uh, four three three two range um you know, just speaking to our own team, we want to be a great defensive team, so we can't score six and not win. Um, we want to make sure that we're great at that end. We also got to be able to win different types of games. And, and you know, I thought our guys uh, five on five overall played real good hockey at times, and we did lots of good stuff, and we had great compete and great energy and created chances and found ways to score. And, um we got to be more disciplined. We can't take seven penalties. And it's going to be super, very true tomorrow night uh, against the real good power play in Vancouver. So to me, that that's more focused than, than, than what's going on around the league. We'll go back to Max Bowman. Um, do you know, is there a timeline for when he has to roll? Like, do they have to have a body tomorrow? Nah, I'm not sure. Yep. Max, we're going to Carmen Allen. Jeff, I just wondered, uh, Uh, the, the, uh, um, you know, I spoke with Gord Dwyer, who I like a lot. Um, he just, they just, I guess, didn't think it was a penalty. So we, he was going through the explanation process of where it was obviously a, a lot going on there. Um, you know, we bantered back and forth and, uh, um, obviously they didn't, they didn't see it uh, as a penalty. The officials are, are, you know, I, I heard, uh, Gary Bettman say this, uh, last year and he's right. The, the best officials in the world, there's zero doubt about that. I've been in lots of different leagues and, Things happen fast, and they make decisions. And um, uh, so that was that was just what they didn't they didn't see it as a penalty. I just wondered, you know, you walked up to Stuart a pretty good explanation of what problem was going through Larkin's mind, but I've never had a sense in covering these hearings whether they actually um, do take into account you know those kind of issues. The fact, for example, that you know he was probably injured on that play, and that also sort of dictates how he's going to react. I don't think that um, it's cut and dry, and um, but I, I don't want to get too deep in that, Kevin. That would be a better question for for um, you know the, the the Department of Player Safety because I, I honestly uh, wouldn't want to be misquoted in saying something uh, uh, that wasn't correct. Yep. Yep. Uh, well, I think you saw the reaction of our players. Um, you know, we're, 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 we're gonna, you know, I've talked about this a lot. It's like, we want to look after each other for sure. And, and, you know, obviously, um, there was a lot of guys, uh, willing to, uh, stick up for Dylan on the ice and, and on the bench. And, and, um, you know, we, 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 I think we're a 
pretty close knit group, and I think guys have a ton of respect for Dylan, and and they know what he went through through the course of the summer, and you know especially guys that that have been around here, Bert and Fabs and those guys, they they know exactly what he went through. So, um, you know he uh, uh, listen. I, I hope in the end he's ends up being all right, and he uh, is able to play the the next game. And um, but but you know I don't know that there's any um, sense of uh, I, I would just say. Uh, there, there would be definitely be a sense of um, we got to look after our, our our teammate. That would be the number one thing. Uh, I know you talked about not wanting to lose like emotional control, mm-hmm. but I mean, how happy are you to kind of see that? I guess, sense yeah, life. sticking up for each other isn't necessarily losing emotional control. You just got to be sm- you know you have to be smart about it, and um, uh, there, there's there's a balance there for sure. So. Um, you know, I, I, again, I thought there was times last night where I thought we started to slip over, you know, the, the emotion, not that the emotion, um, we started to get a little too amped up. So, but it's just that, that balance. And, and we've got some fiery competitors on our team. And I'd rather have fiery competitors that you got to work with to, to make sure they keep their, their, their tempers in check than guys that are vanilla and aren't competitive. So um, there's a balance there for sure. Uh, you know, I, Van is Van is. Um, we obviously haven't seen him in a in a year personally. You know, in terms of playing him and stuff like that. Um, so it's been a long time since since we've played a Vancouver team. Um, you know, they've had one one regular season game. Uh, they're they're a little different uh, than than a Tampa who who kind of goes right on toppy all over the ice. Um, you know, probably more some of the way we play, where you know we try to be on top of the opponent. Uh, they don't tend to. They tend to keep their D a little more inside. Um, uh, use their forwards to forecheck more. They've got a really, really good power play, uh, elite type power play, and so that's something that we got to be very smart about. As I said, uh, you know, better than we did against Tampa, staying out of the box, and um, um, uh, they're going to be a good defensive team, and, and we're going to have to play good hockey. Yep. Hey Jeff, I'm just curious, how satisfying was it just for everybody around their locker room and all that for Bert last night? I mean, he's obviously a great guy there. And it's crazy, he's another guy that went down last year for injuries, the whole vaccination stuff. I yeah. mean, gone through a lot. I mean, it has to be, I'd imagine there'd be some pretty good reactions to something like that to score four goals. And just a lot, of, a lot of positive reaction, I would think, around the room. Yeah, no, I think you know as I told you guys uh, when when, when uh, the news came out, he wasn't va- wasn't going to be vaccinated. That that you know I think our our guys love Bert. Um, he's a he's a guy who uh, you want to be around. He's a winner, great competitor. Um, everybody knows he had to grind through, you know, the most of last year rehab and into the summer, and uh, you know and had a late start in the exhibition season for him to so for him to start like that, I think is awesome. Um, I thought he played excellent. Um, we rate our players one through five every game, and very rarely, I think, have we ever given fives. And he got, I think, fives across the board from the coaching staff. So that, you know, I thought he was great in all areas of the ice. Um, the offensively, defense, obviously, offensively, but defensively, killed a little bit. So um, he was good on the power play. I thought he didn't had an outstanding game. So that's great for him. It's great for us, and and, and it certainly is a good vibe in the room. Stelz was on that Vancouver team. You guys are going to play Nashville. You know, it's a, it is a little bit of adjustment, just kind of getting back into a normal preparation standpoint. And and you know, last year we would have we would have just watched the tape against Tampa and, and you know made your adjustments and go back at it. And uh, uh, that would have been fun too, by the way. Um, but you know, the the way the, you know this, we get to see all the teams, so it'll be good. Thanks for the show. Thank you.